Inchart editing app of 2024 is definitely not the same as the one of 2023. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the updated tools in the Inchart app as well as the old ones for the new beginners that are just starting editing and content creation. So make sure you get your paper, jot things down and also save this video because you will need it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a little bit longer because it's going to be detailed. So you will need it to be watching it step by step and also to use it to practice. So let's get to it. This is the user interface of InShot and if you want to edit a video we go to video go to video you want to edit this is the video of me reviewing Bridgerton and if you're watching Bridgerton say he hello in the comment section but anyways I'm going to change the aspect ratio to YouTube because I'm going to post it on YouTube and this aspect ratio is for TikTok and Instagram reels so to do that we're going to click on canvas and youtube and it automatically does that but if i want it to be for instagram and i don't want the border because if you want it for instagram and you go to instagram you would get the instagram aspect ratio but this black border would be here and we don't want that so in order to get rid of that we go to crop and then instagram instagram and youtube um, tiktok are the same aspect ratio then move it here and it's done hello everyone let's talk about penelope featherington's clownery another thing you can do with canvas is to basically just pinch and zoom it if it's not enough for you or zoom out if you want and you can use this thing to do that as well but there will be no need for that so we are done with canvas now it's music to add music we can extract audio from a video we've downloaded or we can simply just choose the music they have here but i would advise you to choose a music without copyright or just to be careful make sure you copy this and put it in the description of your video so that you don't get copyrighted by choosing colin bridgerton like what was that girl thinking huh anyway i think the music goes with the mood of the video so i think that's okay another thing we can do is to record our own audio to record our own audio and just click on this red button hello everyone i love you bye there is already an audio in this video so be, so there'll be no need for that and in effect you can also put effect sounds like we have different sounds that would go with the mood of the video we have for vehicles we have for transitions we have for food so basically you you, you have so many to choose from so that's it for music i don't think this part would be that hard they also have a collection of music if you want next we're going to go to stickers so with stickers this is what we use to add things to the screen like all these emojis you're seeing and i said clown so i can simply search for clown here yep and we get clown and we can just put it here yeah let's shift it to the part where i actually mentioned clown clown but yeah now you can position to anywhere you deem fit and also with details this is what you use to blur out some things so if i want to blur out my earring i can do that and just increase the intensity and now you can't see it anymore you can just use it to blur out anything you want you can choose which shape you want to blur it out and you can also magnify it by making it look bigger using the magnifier now there will be no need for the blur so i'm just going to get rid of it and delete it you can also doodle just used to write things with your fingers or with your pen but i don't think there'll be any need for that as well but i'm just showing you what to do with it oh i like this glowy one. Ooh, it's so pretty it's so pretty but anyways that's it about doodle another thing you can do is to add auto caption to your videos and if you're using the free version you can only add auto caption to a one minute video or less so if your video is one that more than one minute you would need an in short pro version to be able to add auto captions but this video is less than one minute so i can do it just click on start 
and you'd also have to watch an ad to be able to unlock the free version and now the, after i've watched the ad look the auto caption has been generated and this was exactly how i said it and this, this was exactly what i said auto caption is actually really precise i mean i said clownery and it wrote clownery clownery is not even an actual word that is to show you how precise the auto caption is and now let's go to text you can manually add text to your video so if i want to put a caption i'm just going to write let's discuss penelope bridgerton mm, i want it smaller you can always use your fingers to make it smaller i don't want i don't like how it looks so i'm going to go to label no label opacity i want it to show a lot you go to border we don't need no border glow i don't need it to glow i need to change the text font so let me do it like let me use oh no let's choose something else aleo i think i like aleo uh i think it needs a border because let's go to no it needs label let's use label yeah and look it has added label to it so basically there, there's so much you can do with it you can play with it you can play with these things here to see if there's anything you particularly like about it but basically that's what you use this tool to do and that's it about text you can also add transitions to your text so to make it appear like this like anyhow you want it there is so many transitions here for in and out and for loop look so with loop you just simply continue doing this and never stop but anyways we don't need that but i'm just showing you how to use it and i think we're done with this now for sticker and text has the same tools in it so if you click on sticker you would arrive at the same place if you click on text you would arrive at the same place so we're going to go into effects and in effect you can choose any of the options they have for you they have the slow zoom if you want to zoom in slowly you can also adjust the level at which it zooms in and how fast it comes or you can increase it as well you see it comes really fast but there will be no need for that so we're going to delete it but basically there are so many options you can choose from we also have the tremble the trill so many actually so many we also have the blur but there is the free blur option and to find it you go to the start go back a little bit and you see this blur is free and if you want to blur your video you can also increase the blur intensity or reduce it if you want it to be just a little bit blur anyways this is where you get all the effects you need we also have the ai effect that makes your video look neon we also have the filter if you want to add some ambience to your videos and you can reduce the intensity if you don't want it to be too much and they have a couple of filters you can use or you can actually manually adjust it you go to contrast you increase or decrease it a little bit you go to warmth and increase it or decrease it so just play around with it until you get exactly what you're looking for or how you want your footage to feel like and if you don't like what you've done you can simply delete it and it would return back to normal so that's it for effects and in effects and filter you get the same tools same so let's skip to pip i mean this is where you overlay images and videos and there's an image i want to overlay of penelope the person i'm talking about so this is the image of penelope and colin bridgerton and i think i'll leave it somewhere here i don't know i can change it later you can always change it whenever wherever you want it to be but i haven't decided yet but just for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to leave it here and you can also add filter to it if you want you can do basically you can do whatever you want to the image you can adjust you can everything you you would do to the main video you can do it to the overlaid picture or video 
that's basically what pip is used for now let's head to precords now precords to me is the only useless tool i've seen in this app because i don't really we don't need it for anything because if you want to trim the video please go like this and the video has been trimmed to whichever part you want for it. i want to remove this pause so i'm just going to trim it to the part where i start talking which is here and that's it and if you want to split you can just put this line i don't know what this line is called i think grid line no not grid line i don't know what it's called but place that line on where you want to split and then click on split and that's it so we don't really need any of the tools here it's just prolonged process for me as far as i'm concerned now delete obviously you know what delete is used for it's used to delete clips so for example if i have split this clip i can just delete it like this if i don't need it and now it's just we are just left with this but we don't need to do that so i'm taking it back and volume we can increase or decrease Hello, everyone. volume i decreased it to zero because i don't want you to be hearing the audio from the video and my audio explaining it because it will be confusing and background we use background to this is basically what background does you can choose whichever background if you want a border in your video you can use this this as well this is what background is used for you can also use it if you don't have any video clip you just want a plain background where you can write something on or put text on you can use this background so let me show you how to do that we can just simply click on blank add blank and now we can choose which background we want let me choose this carbon background you see and now we've added a clip with a background so that's what background is used for you can apply it to an already existing clip or you can just use it to you know as a blank canvas but we don't need that so we're going back and just deleting it anyways and speed like the name says you just to speed up the clip you see now it goes really fast you can you know there are movie clips or video clips where it's just there'll be a part where that speeds up and then there'll be a part that slows down and then it goes normal so this is what this curve is used for to add the parts where you want the speed to be and where you want it to be slow-mo so you can use it for slow-mo and for speed now for animation is to introduce your clip i want to add animation at the beginning of my clip so i'm going to go to combo Ooh, i like this i like this yes this is it the zoom troll i love it yep yep this is it this is what i want so the next one now is crop i already showed you how to use crop at the beginning of the video and it's basically to edit the aspect ratio of your video so now it's in current instagram reels and i want it to be on youtube ratio so i'm just going to go to youtube ratio and canva we also go to canva go to youtube ratio yeah and now the shape has returned back to how it was now if you split your clip then you would have to apply this effect to all the clips but if it's not split then it just happens at once oh no i want to edit this picture yep let's position it here it's perfect here and this clown i want to, i want to put this clown on her face so let me go to sticker and put it on her face yes yes mm -hmm. so next step is switch so switch is used to overlay a video so if i want to overlay this video on top of this video that's what we use switch for so we just go like this switch and now it has come on top and so for example this video i mistakenly put it here but i want it to be on this video so you just click on the video and click on switch and now it has become an overlaid video so that's what switch is used for to overlay the, a video on top the previous video now the next one i'm going to show you is called cutouts and this is to cut out the background of your video especially if you're using green screen it would remove the green screen and leave the remaining object so let's cut out you see it has cut out the background but we don't need it so we're going to go back yep so that's what cutout is for and we also have the masking tool 
you see now it has made it circle and you can move it to whichever part you want it to be there are so many things you can do with this masking tool trust me and i have several tutorials on how to use a masking tool to clone yourself to get rid of people in your video or to remove a text or watermark from a video so the link would be here just click on the link and watch the video but that's it for mask we don't need it in this video so i'm just going to go back and we also have opacity and this is just to make your video as transparent as you want it to be basically that's what opacity is used for but we don't need that <laughs> i think i've said we don't need that a lot in this video but i'm just showing you how every tool works and for replace if you want this clip to be replaced with something else you can click on replace and choose which video you want it you want to replace it so this is a video i made for one of my other videos where i was reviewing this led lights i uploaded it so now it has been replaced as you can see so that's what the replace option is used for if you replace a video it would apply all the effects and all the pictures and all the text on the previous video into the new video but again we don't need that so let's go back and voice effects voice effect is basically to change the your voice to make it sound like something else so i'll show you how to do that let me increase the volume of the video so now let's apply the voice effect let me sound like an alien Hey everyone, let's talk about pinning the feather into your scrawly by choosing coding budget. Hey everyone, let's talk about pinning the feather into your scrawly. Okay, but we don't need a voice effect, so we're going to undo that. But that's it for voice effect basically. Duplicate as it sounds. If whichever clip you want to duplicate, just put this line on it and then click on duplicate now we have two of the clips that's what with just the name you can already tell what it does is now the rotate is to like it says rotates your clip to whatever size you want it to to however you want it to be you can also flip it so now i'm on this side instead of this side yeah that's it for rotate and for freeze i like this freeze option so i usually use the freeze option when i'm trying to you know remind people of something simply just go to the part you want to freeze then click on freeze now it has created a frozen version of that part and now i can add like an audio a recorded audio so let me do it now hello everyone don't forget to subscribe and like and that's done so let's see how it sounds now what was that girl thinking huh? hello everyone don't forget to subscribe and like and you guys that's simply how to do it you can use it to fix any misconception so in case there was something you left out that may create doubts in the minds of your viewers you can create the freeze and then add your two cents in it and that's just basically what you use the freeze for and to also remind them to subscribe if you haven't subscribed at this point don't let us fight i don't want us to fight okay so now the next part is reverse like it says it's just to reverse your videos but if i reverse this video it's just simply going to look like i'm sound like i'm talking rubbish because there was not much movement it's just me sitting down well let me just show you but if it was like a car video then yeah we can it can look reasonable you would notice the reverse but in this case there is not much to reverse and i see it kind of looks like i'm speaking a different language like i invented a language so basically that's how it sounds when you're reverse talking but if, if it's a moving video or if there is emotion going on like a car or something or you're doing yoga or something then the reverse would show but for now it can't because i'm not doing anything significant now let's head to ease now this ease is closely tied to keyframe because if you don't have keyframes in your videos then you cannot use ease ease is used to make whatever you use the keyframes to do to make the movement smooth like it says ease yeah to make the movement smooth basically so now let me add keyframe here so if i add keyframe here and then here i want it to expand so i'm going to widen it and it would automatically add the second keyframe now see how it looks 
you see if you add ease to it then to make the movement smoother you see so different type of ease would give different types of results can you see so this is basically how to manually create your own effects with or animation you can use keyframes to do anything you can also use it to change the position of something from one place to another so for example let's add the sticker mm, let me add the subscribe sticker yeah this is the subscribe sticker and i want it to start from here let me change the position yeah so i want it to start from here so i'm going to add keyframe here and then at the last part i'll just move it to this part and now it has added the second keyframe so let's see how it moves do you see do you see yeah that's what we use the keyframe for now let's ease it so ease in this part we're just going to scroll to the right and click on ease you see it makes the movement smoother so that's basically what the ease and the keyframe is the keyframe is used to add changes so if you want something to move from a particular position to the next you use keyframe and then use ease to make the movement smooth so it will not look sturdy or it does not look like there is something on its way now if you want more professional tips on how to clone yourself i have a video on that i also have a video on ai and how it can help you as a content creator and an entrepreneur so if you have a business you might also need this tutorial so click on this playlist here make sure you subscribe you know i deserve a like and subscribe so please click on the like button and also subscribe to this channel as well i've saved this video for future reference and i would see you in my next video bye